Okay, so today on the uh, desk of stuff is my drill chuck. One of the ones that I bought uh, on eBay a few days, a few weeks ago, I guess a week ago. <coughs> and um, I, I got on eBay seeing if the seller had some other parts left, and I found out that you could rebuild these Jacob's chucks. So I ordered a kit, and these are old stock, new old stock, or were. Uh, now these are the parts that came out of this chuck. Anyways, I was able to repair the chuck and also diagnose the damage. All right, all right, you freaking thing, focus. Maybe it will. Maybe it won't. It probably won't. Anyways, there's some damage right here on the jaws. Some broken teeth. Um, so obviously this chuck was over over torqued at a certain point in its life, and that was part of the problem. <coughs> Now, further compounding the problem is that when I took it apart, I broke the sleeve. And this is the box the new sleeve came in. So here is the old sleeve that I just replaced. And you hear it jingling in there because there's two broken parts. That is a piece of the hardened drill sleeve. So here's the sleeve all mangled to hell and back because. I don't have an arbor press, and so, uh, yeah, metal and sharp impacts, not a good thing. Well, anyways, after some work and uh, a little bit of time, these parts came in a mail, and I was able to rebuild this Jacob's Chuck. And as you can see, it is now in great condition. no damage whatsoever brand new jaws in here and the best part is that it works now it's a little stiff because I wasn't confident in my abilities and uh, as such I didn't lubricate it properly I should have put some uh, some uh, lubricant some grease on the scrolls inside but uh, it works rather well and uh, putting it in the drill press has found it to be about six thousandths uh, within six thousandths so <coughs> and some of that's probably vibration from my drill press to be quite honest um, so it's much better it's like a new chuck um, you're not going to get one of these chucks dead on uh, without spending a lot of money on it uh, and for a used chuck within six thousandths. Huh. I am positively stoked because yeah didn't expect to get that and this thing is getting easier to work this whole time so it's kinda nice to play with that so this was a number 32 and this kit was a U32 repair set and uh, Jacobs repair parts which I do not know how to get this stupid thing to focus. If anybody knows, please tell me. Here we go. So these are actual Jacob's part. It actually tells you it's got idiot instructions on the back. Focus. No. No focusing. Focus, focus, focus. Anyways, it's got repair instructions on the back, but Jacob's website also has repair instructions. So if you have one of these chucks, made by the Jacobs Manufacturing Company which there we go give it a focus hey focus on me it says the Jacobs Manufacturing Company West Hartford 10 Connecticut United States of America <coughs> so um, you know you can apparently rebuild these trucks and I'm very happy with how this turned out um, the sleeve that I got was new old stock in OS which uh, means that it is new in its box it's just old stock they don't carry it anymore um, and it's rather expensive 
to rebuild these chucks, but buying a brand new chuck is even more expensive. So uh, or being able to order the jaws or the scroll or the half night blur is a wonderful thing. So uh, the experience was not all that difficult, even without an arbor press. I was able to do it. So if you have a broken truck, I I encourage you to try to repair it yourself. Okay. Because even though I damaged it the first time around, I was able to resolve the issue and now I have a good solid working chuck. Far superior to what I would have had had I went and bought a no name off brand chuck. So uh anyways I know that's not all that interesting to most people, but these videos are really for me, so I don't care. However, if you do like it, please give me a thumbs up and let me know that you like the movies. Thank you.